I promised you I would have a video playing with the code and I'll do that here. So here's my code. Here's my website. Um, here I call new source.css. Usually you call it style.css. Why did I call it new source? I don't know. I called it new source. Um, and also you would probably, if you had it in a, like let's say you had it in a style directory or some other directory, um, you just, just like with images, you can just specify the name. So let's say it was in a style directory. You can just do that. But right now I just put it, here it is, new source.css. And I just have my CSS, I have my HTML. And here's my, here I brought it up. So let's see what happens. So I have a heading. This is my heading, h1 tag. This is my paragraph p tag. Now all of these, you can actually specify borders, margin, everything we said. So here, um, I specified my border for my body is two pixels dash black. And the margins are funny. So let's play with it. Let's see what happens. What if I said four? See that? The body just got much darker. Um, so much thicker from two to four. Let's say I went solid block. I want a solid border. Here. Isn't that nice? Okay, let's leave that as a solid border all around. Um, now my margin is 20. Pixels. What if I had changed this to 30 pixels? Now I have more margin. Now I mentioned you can also specify. So I'm specifying margin top. Instead of if you specify margin, it went all around um, on top, bottom, right, left. Now I'm only doing the top. Fresh. And now you can see there's no left margin anymore. There's no right margin. There's no bottom margin. Okay. Um, Section so here, section one of HTML5 tags that you see the tags I can use. And I made it a 6px dotted black with six pixels dotted black with the width of 600 pixels. Now let's change this to 300, see what happens. Here, smaller width, margins. Now the margins, like I said, are from we're, we're now in here, where this is our section. The margins are outside of the border. So if I made it smaller, my margin smaller, I was just going to 20, then we're closer to the outside because the margins are outside the border and the padding is what's inside the border. That's the difference between the padding and margins. Mar padding are what's inside the border, margins are what's outside. So padding is between the content and the end. So if I wanted to add more space between the content and the border. Let me add 40. Okay, and now I have more space inside here. Um, H1 and P. So this, if you, you could put a comma and then do them on the same line. So here I have my H1 and P both have a solid border, which they do, and they both have padding. And here, change to 20. Now, there's padding. Why does it look like there's more space? Okay, let's go, let's see. Because here, oh here, the padding left was changed to only one, which is pretty much like saying zero. Let's change it to something bigger. I'm overriding it. So here's H1 and P, both have common properties, and H1 has a unique one, P has a unique one. Here, now I just gave it a little better. And if you want to do the same thing here, margin top, whoa, 10 EM. Oh, DM is the number of pixels. DM is like I just did that 10 times the amount that was there. Okay, so let's do that again. All right, so play around with it. Now, why is this four numbers? I said you could put margin as one number, and one number means that it's top, it's everywhere if you only have one number. Or you could specify margin top, margin top would just be the top and margin right would just be the right. But you could also have a shortcut and specify them all. And this is saying the top, right, bottom are all zero. So top, right, bottom, left. You can specify it like this. So if you wanted to give the top and the H1 more margin space, then here, now you have more margin space. 